guys, what is up and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Danielle and today I am going to be spilling all the tea on college. I just finished up my first year of college at Rhode Island College and I thought I would give all of my advice to you guys and also my tips and tricks on how I survived my first year in college. Before I start off, I just wanted to say that my major is medical imaging because I know some of you might ask and might be wondering, but yes, I'm not 100% in the program yet. I'm still taking my prerequisites and at the end of this year, I will be applying to the actual program and I'm so excited, so pray for me that all goes well and that... I get in. <laughs> but without further ado, let's get into the tea. So I'm going to start with the two most cliche things that everyone says about college. The first one is to make friends. I know everyone says it, but it is so important. Especially if you are living on campus, you don't have your friends from home to be there for you all the time to hang out with you all the time. It just doesn't work like that. For me, on the other hand, I actually did not live on campus. So I had a few friends at home that I could still talk to and hang out with, but all of my like best friends were living at college and were away. So it was up to me to make some new friends at college and I did it and it was the best thing that could have ever happened. So when people say try to make friends, it's true, you need to make friends, especially friends that are in the same major as you or around the same major as you, because if they are, then you can do study groups together. You will probably be in some of the same classes. Like for me, since my major is medical imaging, I take a lot of science classes and my friend Emma, who I met last year, She's nursing, which we do the same exact classes. So it's good to make friends in your major because then the following year, you can try to get the same classes with them again and you can study together and it is just a huge help. And then the second most cliche thing that everyone says is to join a club. I'm gonna be real with you guys because that's what I'm about. I like to keep it real with you. I did not join a club. But I'm blaming it on the fact that I did not live on campus and I worked a lot so there wouldn't really be much time for me to be a part of one. But if you are living on campus, try your hardest to find a club that suits you the best, even like a sport because you will meet so many people and it's also going to give you something to do. So definitely try to just get involved and even if that means getting like a job on campus, just try your best to get involved. All right, so enough of the cliche stuff. We're going to get into the real tea. I'm going to start off with talking about some of the most important websites that have helped me survive my freshman year of college. And the first one is Rate My Professor. I'm sure all of you already know. If not, you need to know. But Rate My Professor is a website that any person at any college can rate any professor. So at my college, Rick, if I went to ratemyprofessor.com, I would type in my college and then I would type in the professor that I want to know about. And the first thing that'll pop up will be like a one to five rating, five being the best. And then if you scroll down, there's going to be a bunch of comments and reviews that the students have written. And this is so important because for me, I take science classes and science classes are the hardest classes at college. And if you don't have a good professor, your life is going to be a living hell, okay? So definitely use Rate My Professor to choose the best one for you. And the next website is Chegg.com. If you do not know what this is, it is a website where you can find all of your textbooks and all of 
the books that you need for your classes and they just offer them for a cheaper price than they would at the bookstore at your school or anywhere else online. Chegg just offers the most inexpensive prices and I've gotten three of my textbooks from there. And another thing that's cool is that you don't have to buy it, you can actually rent it, which is what I did. So I rented it for a very, very low price. One of my books for sociology, I think it was like $8 to rent. I rented it, I used it, and then I sent it back. So it's very convenient and saves you hundreds of dollars, trust me. All right, so now for the tips, my First tip for you guys is to use a planner. Planners are going to save your life in college, and I'm not kidding. So I actually have one here to give you guys as an example. My sister actually got this for me for my birthday so that I didn't have to go out and get one. So it's a 2019 to 2020 planner, so that's for this year. So nothing has been written in it but I am obsessed with the layout of this planner. So in the beginning of this planner, it gives you all of the months with like the little squares. So it's obviously July, August, September, all with the little squares. And then after those kinds of calendars, it goes to this. So this is just for July. So for July 1st, it actually says morning, afternoon, and evening. And then it gives you like a little box to write other notes and stuff. So whenever I have homework, I'll just write that down in my planner and I'll know that it needs to be done the next day for the morning, afternoon, or evening class. My next tip to you is to get a tutor. It's okay to struggle in college. It's okay to get a bad grade. It's okay to not feel like you're doing your best. It's okay to get a tutor. Tutors are going to be so helpful for you, especially if you think you're struggling. And a tutor is not going to make you feel any more worse about yourself. A tutor is there to help you and to ace that next exam and to pass your class. So do not be scared to get a tutor if you need it. And if you are struggling, that probably means that you are falling behind. So do not fall behind. This is literally so important, especially in college, because ladies and gentlemen, you are not in high school anymore and you cannot get away with anything. If you are one assignment behind, it is going to feel like 20 assignments behind in high school. In high school, I used to be like, oh, I'm one assignment behind, like it's fine. My teacher will let me do it later, whatever, whatever. College, <laughs> you cannot get away with any of that. If you are behind on an assignment, they are not gonna care. They're just gonna be like, well, that was her fault. So just don't fall behind, stay on track. Use a planner to help you not fall behind. Like, come on guys, we're in college now. We need to be on top of things. And with that comes my next tip of go to class. It would just make me laugh when I sit in class and see that the same people were never there. Like you pay all this money to go to a college and you're not gonna go to class. It just makes no sense to me. But going to class is so important because if you don't, you're going to miss everything and your professor is not going to care. They are not going to rewind and reteach it just because you weren't there. They are gonna move on. Professors move and move and move and move. They don't teach something, stop, teach it for a week, play games about it, do like little quizzes about it to get you prepared. They just keep on going until the exam is going to happen and they expect you to know all of what they taught you for that exam. So if you don't go to class, you're gonna fall behind and you're gonna struggle. Another tip is that if your professors offer you extra credit, do 
the extra credit. I remember taking biology last year and my professor would give us like a sheet of paper online and it was the easiest thing ever. It was like letters on one side and then a definition on the other side and you just had to match the letter with the definition and that was the extra credit. Like anything helps. It's gonna take you five to ten minutes out of your day to do extra credit but it's worth it so do it. Another huge tip is to manage your time wisely. For me, I know this is very important, especially for being in a medical imaging major, because for science classes, you get a lot handed to you all at once. So managing your time is very, very important, especially for studying. I'm going to use me as an example. So say I have an exam tomorrow, but I have work the night before. Here's a tip. Don't try to jam it all in and study for it the day before when you know that you have work. The second you get out of class and you're either back in your dorm room or you're back home, look over your notes like two or three times, do what you gotta do, and then the next day you're going to be learning more stuff and repeat. You cannot get away with just going to class, listening to your professor, waiting a few days, studying like once or twice, and then the exam is the next day and you're like, oh no, I only have one more day to study, but oh, I have work. Like, that's not how it works. So you need to manage your time wisely. This tip is so important and you're probably going to be like, really? but don't give up. I struggled a lot in my chemistry class and I was at the verge of just giving up. I was like, well, this is not going good. I am getting not the grades that I want and I just feel like not even trying. But then I was like, no, this class is so important. I need this class to get into my program. I need to keep hustling, I need to keep going, and I did, and it paid off in the end. So just don't give up. One bad grade is not going to kill you, okay? If you get a bad grade, that just means you need to step it up a little bit, get some more study time in, ask people for help, ask your professor for help, like do what you gotta do to keep going. Just don't give up because it will screw you over in the long run. And next is don't be afraid. And by this, I mean lots of things. Don't be afraid to ask. That's like the main thing. Ask questions. If you do not know what your professor is saying, raise your hand and be like, can you repeat that please? And they will kindly repeat it. I remember sitting in chemistry the first few classes and I was like, what? is this guy saying? And I was so afraid to raise my hand and ask because you're in this huge room with a ton of people. It was like auditorium style. And you raise your hand, you're gonna have all these people staring at you and it gets nerve wracking. But honestly, they're probably going to forget about it within five minutes. It's just like, human instinct to when someone raises their hand and starts talking. Everyone looks. But don't be afraid. Just ask because all in all, you're there for you. You're not there for anyone else. So just do what you gotta do and don't be afraid. All right, now just for some like fun tips and advice, I'm gonna be talking about the freshman 15 because I know that's what you guys have all been waiting for me to say. But the freshman 15 is in fact a thing. Whether you live on campus or not, it's a thing. Because high school, I would wake up every day at the same time. I would never have time to eat breakfast. And then I'd be in school all day. So you don't really have time to binge eat. But when you're in college, you have all the time in the world to binge eat. I take like all morning classes. So last semester, I was out of class every day at like 11, sometimes 12. And it's like, 
I have all this time to eat. And when I'm stressed, I eat. And college is so stressful. For me, at least. But it gets better, I promise. It just was a little bit stressful. And while I was studying, I wanted to snack. So, yeah. It's a thing. It happens to the best of us. But now that it's summer, I've learned how to cope with it. And I'm hoping that when this school year starts, I won't be as bad because I learned from it and I'm going to fix it now. And then another silly tip is just to wear clothes that are appropriate for the weather because in college you're going to be walking around a ton. I know for me last semester I did like class after class in a row so I would have to walk a lot to every single class like five minutes apart from each other. So if you know it's going to be 10 degrees outside, wear a big fuzzy warm coat. If you know it's going to be 90 degrees outside, wear loose baggy summery clothes. But I've seen so many people walking around campus and I'm like, how are you not sweating? Or how are you not freezing? And also shoes. I would wear sneakers all the time because I didn't want to be walking around campus in like cute little sandals. <laughs> or stuff like that. But yes, just dress accordingly to the weather and don't forget your umbrellas if it's raining. But guys, that is all of the advice that I have for you. And I hope that for all the upcoming freshmen this year that you learned something from this video and have an amazing first year. You're going to love it. And my advice to you, just do you worry about what you gotta do. Don't worry about anybody else. Get everything done, then go have fun. Ooh, that rhymed. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And also hit that notification bell to get notified of every time I post a new video. Bye guys.